Claim your free market assessment today and quantitatively assess where, when, and how to raise the bar in marketing. The final product of a marketing assessment is typically a spider diagram. The spider diagram depicts the relative performance on all disciplines in one integrated way. The fact that each discipline is calculated from a consistent methodology allows them to be viewed and compared in the same diagram. Spider diagrams can and should be created at as granular a level as possible, organization, function, department, etc. Doing so will provide insight and guidance for the entire organization and ensure a cohesive investment strategy by synchronizing priorities and tasks. For example, the market assessment summary indicates that seven additional people will be required in an investment of $1,090,000. Marketing is broken down into five or six primary segments here. Product messaging, corporate communications, product marketing, creative services, staff development, demand creation. The innermost line, the light blue, indicates the current state, while the outer line, the dark blue, indicates the desired state. For example, we can see that the desired state for product marketing is state five, which is an optimized state. However, product marketing today, the current state, is a two, which is a repeatable process. On the market assessment summary page, notice that there are three key categories on the left-hand side. In the top section, we identify the disciplines. These are the disciplines within marketing that we're going to evaluate. The next column identifies the current state, then the gap, and the desired state. And this is a summary from the prior page we'll visit in a moment. The next category identifies the gap. Gaps can be anywhere from zero, no gap, all the way to a five, which is a critical gap. In this third section, we identify the states. At state one, this is an ad hoc state, all the way through state five, which is an optimized state. Now let's back up and understand where the raw data for this chart was assembled. By clicking on the first tab, Marketing, we can see that we have similar information here in terms of the gap in states. However, as we look at the disciplines, now we have additional detail. Add or delete elements that are relevant for your organization. What's most important here is to ensure that you've got an estimate for the current state, the gap, desired state, any dependencies, requirements, and an estimate of the investment in terms of people and program dollars that would be necessary. Notice that the template also calculates subtotals for each area in terms of the number of people and dollars that would be required in addition to the subtotals, the template also calculates a grand total for all of marketing. Here we can see it's seven people with just over a million dollars in investment. These totals are carried forward over into the market assessment in the header category. So it's clear to see that movements from current state to desired state require X amount of people, in this case seven, and additional funding. I hope you download this template to establish where you are, where you want to be, and what it will take to get there. It's a great quantitative tool for you to assess your organization and provide your team and your management with a clear understanding of what it's going to take to move the needle. Thanks again for listening. I hope you will download and use the marketing assessment template. It is a great quantitative approach to establish where you are, where you want to be, and how to get there. And it will serve as the basis to guide your team and persuade management to make the required investments to raise the bar in marketing.